In the picturesque town of Willowbrook, nestled amidst the scenic beauty of the countryside, a shocking incident involving a baby and his grandmother unfolded, leaving the entire community in disbelief. Meet Sarah and James Anderson, a loving couple blessed with a beautiful two-month-old baby boy named Ethan. With both of them working full-time, they relied on the support of James's mother, Evelyn, to look after Ethan during the day. Evelyn had been a doting grandmother, taking care of Ethan with boundless love and affection. The young parents were grateful for her help and appreciated the fact that she babysat their precious son without any charge. Over the past few weeks, they had grown to trust Evelyn's care completely. One sunny afternoon, as Sarah was going about her work, she decided to check on Ethan through the Baby Monitor app just to see how he was doing. Evelyn had mentioned that Ethan was a bit fussy during his nap time and she might have to hold him to soothe him. However, what Sarah saw on the Baby Monitor left her horrified. There on the screen was Evelyn with her shirt hoisted up and her breast exposed while Ethan was latched onto her, seemingly breastfeeding. Shocked and concerned, Sarah immediately called Evelyn, but to her dismay, there was no answer. Fearful for her baby's well-being, Sarah had to watch helplessly as Evelyn attempted to breastfeed Ethan, knowing full well that her mother-in-law was not lactating and the baby wasn't getting any milk. Sarah couldn't fathom what she was witnessing and felt a sense of violation and distress. After what felt like an eternity, Evelyn finally returned Sarah's call. Trying to remain calm, Sarah confronted her mother-in-law about the incident. Evelyn explained that she was only trying to calm Ethan down, but Sarah was deeply hurt and upset by what she had seen. In the days that followed, Sarah and James discussed the situation at length. While James wanted to give his mother another chance, Sarah couldn't shake off the feeling of violation she had experienced. She worried that Evelyn had crossed a boundary that should not have been breached. Sarah sought advice from fellow parents on an online forum and shared her heart-wrenching experience. To her surprise, the overwhelming majority of responses supported her decision to distance Evelyn from taking care of Ethan. Many parents empathized with her feelings of protectiveness and agreed that the breastfeeding incident was inappropriate. Still, Sarah grappled with her decision torn between her desire to trust Evelyn again and her instinct to safeguard her baby. Evelyn, on the other hand, felt deeply hurt by Sarah's stance and accused her daughter-in-law of invading her privacy by checking the baby monitor. As days turned into weeks, the tension between Sarah and Evelyn remained palpable. James, caught in the middle, tried to mediate between the two women he loved dearly. The couple eventually decided to hire a professional nanny to take care of Ethan during their working hours providing a neutral and safe environment for their baby. Despite the strain in their relationship, Sarah and Evelyn tried to find common ground. They attended family counseling sessions to address their issues openly and honestly. As time passed, they both realized the importance of communication, understanding, and setting clear boundaries. Months went by and the wounds began to heal slowly. Sarah allowed Evelyn to be a part of Ethan's life, albeit under strict supervision. As Ethan grew, the family dynamic shifted, and Sarah found solace in knowing that she was doing everything she could to protect her child. The incident served as a lesson for everyone involved. It taught Sarah the value of assertiveness and safeguarding her baby's well-being. For Evelyn, it was a reminder that boundaries and open communication were crucial in maintaining a healthy relationship with her daughter-in-law and grandson. In the end, the family emerged stronger from the ordeal, having learned the importance of respect, empathy, and the unconditional love that binds them together. The journey was challenging, but it ultimately led to growth, understanding, and a renewed sense of appreciation for the precious gift of family.